let me ask you a question. Are you aging too quickly? You already know your chronological age, but physically, are you aging at an accelerated pace? As you get older, there's all kinds of natural things that happen. Your hair gets a little thinner, you get some wrinkles, a little bit less energy. This is all a normal part of life. But I think many of us are wondering, are we aging gracefully or are we burning the candle at both ends and aging a lot faster than we need to? There's lots of things you should pay attention to, your blood work, your hormones, your bone density. But today I'd like to talk about a simple at-home test called the SIT to rise test, which is a very good proxy for your overall fitness, or at least your lower body strength, mobility, and end range fitness. Hey, my name is Lucas. I'm a yoga teacher. In this video, I'll show you how to do, how to perform the sit to rise test, how to give yourself a score. And most importantly, I'll show you how to improve your score test. This test was first developed in the 1990s in Brazil. And the original researchers, they made some hyperbolic claims about this test predicting lifespan probably not accurate, but what it can do is it can really help you to understand your strength from getting up and down from the ground. And why that matters is because when you're carrying groceries and you stumble, when you're going up and down from the stairs and you trip, when you have a grandchild in your arms and you're trying to sit down, were you to fall, bone fractures and bone breaks, especially if we're talking about your hips as you get older, this is a major cause of mortality. A hip fracture, for example, over the age of 65, anywhere from a 20 to 50% of hip fractures can result in death within that year. So it's a very big risk factor, and your ability to get up and down from the ground without the use of your hands makes a big difference. Enough talk, let's take the test. Before we do, I'll warn you in advance, a lot of people score badly. By a lot of people, I mean I have 30-year-old students who score terribly on this test, so don't be dismayed. The second thing is you can get better, but these exercises I'll share with you, they're a lot harder than they look. They might feel okay, but you can get really sore. So don't try to push too hard, too fast. Most people can learn this within about four to 12 weeks, but you need to take it step by step. As always, there's a PDF down below to the exercises if you'd like to skip ahead. Okay, let's take the test. Standing up tall, take off your shoes and do this on a soft surface. I'm on a yoga mat but a carpeted surface will work as well. If you're on the hard floor, it can kind of hurt your ankles. Cross your legs, place your hands in the air, and you can use your hands for a little bit of balance, but our goal is to go down, down, down with control and sit down on the floor. No knees, no shins, no support from my hands is the key thing. Now from here, we did the sit, now I'll do the rise portion of the test, and again, I might lean forward, but I'll do my best to do no knees, no hands, and to control the ascent. So that sit to rise score would be a 10 out of 10. I didn't need any extra support to get it up and down from the ground. Now, let's assume that you were unable to do that. Let me show you how to deduct points. I'll do the test again. Cross my ankles. As I lower down, 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 maybe I get stuck and I drop a knee. That would be minus one. Maybe I get stuck and I drop a hand. That would be another minus one. And then I sit down on the floor. So now I'm at 10, Minus two, I'm at eight of 10, but now I need to rise. To rise, let's say I need my knee again, I need my hand again, but I still need one more hand. That would be one, two, three points in the negative. So two points on the way down, three points on the way up. I'm at five out of 10 on my sit to rise test. My goal for you is to get you all to at least an eight out of 10. Some of you will even hit 10 out of 10, but we need to take it really slow and progressive with our practices. So let's jump in and take a look at some simple protocols to improve your sit to rise score right away. No matter what your sit to rise score was, you can improve very, very quickly. Just remember, we're working on a different kind of strength here. This is strength, it's mobility, and then end range strength. What that means is it's very helpful if you practice a little bit every day rather than going really hard a couple of times a week. So I'll show you how to do five rounds on both your right and left side, and I'll show you how to do it with support. For these exercises, we need a stool for our first modification, and we'll need a broomstick for our second modification. I'll put this down for now, and I'll show you how to do it with a stool. As before, we want to do this on a soft surface like a yoga mat or a carpeted surface. I'll stand in front of my stool, cross my ankles just like before, right leg on top, and then I'll do the same test. I'll start to sit down, sit down, sit down, and the moment when you start to feel wobbly, I'd like you to use the stool, but only as much as you need to. Here's the key thing, keep that right heel down, maybe you need your knee, and we lower down. I'm using the stool only as I need to, and I'm focusing 
on this right heel hitting the floor. Right heels down, lean forward. Maybe you even need your elbows, whatever you need, all the way up, and that's one. Cross your ankles, the right leg stays in front. We slowly, slowly, slowly lower down. Notice the heel, seated position. Notice the heel, all the way up, and that's two. Cross your ankles. Maybe this time, just need your fingertips. Good, keep that heel down, lean forward using our stool, and that's three. Cross your ankles, slowly, slowly, slowly lower down, seated position, and all the way back up, it's four, and slowly lower down, seated down. You might find you get better at this little by little, and that is five, switch. Left leg's in front, heel stays down on my left leg, and I slowly start to lower down if I need my shin and my knee. Totally fine for support. Focus on that left heel. So the weight is being driven into your front foot using as much or as little support as you need. That's one. Slowly lower down. Good. Once you find your seat, find your heel, and push all the way up. We're at two. Cross. Sit all the way down. Good. Press all the way back up. That's three. Cross your ankles. Place your hands and slowly lower down. Press all the way back up. We're at four. One more time. Cross your ankles. Sit down and back. Again, focus on that heel. This is the driving leg, the one in front. And we're at five. Great. For our next variation, after you've been working with the stool for let's say four weeks, let's switch and we'll make it a little more challenging by working with the broomstick. The idea is the same, I'm using this for minimal support, which means I'll make my hands into a cupping position around the pole and I'll use my hands only when I need to. So I'll start off with the pole stuck into the ground, I'll cross my right foot over my left, cup my hands around the broomstick and I'll squat down, down, Maybe I start to feel wobbly and I hold on. Maybe I start to feel wobbly and my knee hits the ground. Slowly lower down. And then I press all the way back up. That's one. Slowly lower down. And then press all the way back up. That's two. Slowly lower down. Maybe you need less support here. All the way back up. That's three. Cross. Remember my right leg stays in front. That heel stays down the whole time. All the way back up, it's four. Slowly lower down. And then all the way back up. Press that heel down, that's five. Switch. Left leg's in front, and I'll slowly lower down, focusing on my heel, using my knee and my shin if needed, but try to keep your form throughout really clean, and most importantly, control. That's what we're looking for here. All the way back up, that's one. Slowly lowering down. Think of this like a cane, giving you just as much support as you need. Press your left heel, drive the weight up. It's two, slide your hands down. Sit down, all the way back up. That's three, you've got me sweating now. Slowly down, and then press your heel down, all the way back up. That's four, we'll do one more time. Drop all the way down, all the way down. Cross your legs, now all the way back up to stand, and that is five. So remember, your objective as you're trying to improve your sit to rise score is to do five sets on your right side, five sets on your left, left side. If you're using a stool, that's five and five. If you're using a broomstick, that's five and five. If you don't need the stool or the broomstick, you can do five and five in the middle of the room. If you'd like more science-based yoga videos, click subscribe down below. I try to answer all my own comments if you have a question or a comment down below. You can always find my teaching calendar at yogabody.com. Thanks so much for joining us.